All right, today we're gonna to be talking about how to do an orbit camera move in Unreal Engine 5. So let's take a look at the project I am working with. It's based on the Lord of the Rings, the Battle for Middle-earth card game project that I worked on with Ultra Pro International. And I'm gonna be revisiting that project in Unreal 5 and doing some fun showcases on how I can convert stuff into the new fun tools. So let's do that. All right, so we are in the scene, and if you're curious about the lighting, go ahead and check out the other video on my YouTube channel or up here or somewhere. Talks about the lighting for this scene, sort of revisiting it. But what I wanna talk about today is a simple orbit camera move. So what are we gonna do? First off, what I want to do is make a camera sequence or a level sequence. So I need to right click on my content browser. I just have a folder here where we can see sequences Jags and then right click animation and level sequence. We'll call this camera orbit move one. Move zero one. And then we will double click on that and it'll open up a sequencer. Now, generally speaking, the most cinematic frame rate for anything is going to be 23.976. If you are into gaming, you could also do 60p. Really depends on what the visual language you, you want to communicate is. I like 24, so I'm going to stick with 24. Now, I have to add a couple things. I first want to create an empty actor. And what this is going to do is it's going to create a little null object in my scene, basically something that I can control the camera with. Now, right now I'm looking through the hero shot camera, but if I eject from that, I can see where my camera null is. And I'm just going to move that right there. So it feels like the box is also kind of centered with that. And I have the actor here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click create new folder with current selection. And this is going to be camera stuff. Save early and save often. Make sure you save. Save your stuff. So once that's saved, what we're going to do is we're going to look in our scene for our hero shot, our world outliner. We'll drop this into the actor. We'll make it a child of the actor, actually. We can rename this to camera orbit controller. And then we can click on our perspective and hero shot once again. Now, the reason why I do this over using the rail system in Unreal is now you can get a very clean and perfect rotation around a specific object. Now, this is really cool if you want very clean, simple camera moves like you would see on a food commercial or something like that where they have motor control, sliders sort of things. That's the effect I'm going for. So with this, what I want to do is I want to bring both of these objects into my sequencer. With that there, I want to click on my camera orbit controller, click on track, and then transform. I want to make a keyframe on all of this stuff, and then I want to move forward in time to about the 240 frame mark. So just right click on your sequencer and scroll down. Make sure you bring the out point red handle with you and then bring the camera clip with you. If you wanna see more of your scene, you can hold control and then mouse wheel backwards. You can see more of your clip. Bring my playhead forward and find that out point 240 frames and I'm going to click on my orbit and then move this rotation property now I like that right there that's a good looking composition I know the little preview there is not necessarily helping but first let's make a transform keyframe right there and then we can click off of our orbit controller I did move my camera just a little bit but we can just scrub through our keyframe and Fix that. So now we get this cool looking parallax effect with our scene. Now to render this out, what you have to do first is whenever you render a camera that is connected to a null, I found that sometimes it can be a little funky. So first right click on your camera, click on convert to spawnable, and that will basically make sure it's attached to your, your sequence. And then what you wanna do is click on track and then attach with your hero shot camera or whatever your camera is called. And then I wanna make sure I attach it to my camera orbit controller and then drag this little 
sort of clip section out so it stays attached to that. For some reason, whenever you make things spawnable, it will detach you from your camera. So go back to perspective, click on hero shot, and then we can see our camera move. We're doing that really cool orbit effect. I want to select these keyframes, and then if we click on the little curve editor button here, we can see that if we go to our camera orbit controller, go to our transform, rotation, we can see that there's some ease on these keyframes. So I'm gonna select both of these. If you hold shift and then make a box around the two, it'll select both. And then I just wanna click on four. Make it linear because I'm gonna cut this clip front and back. So I think it looks better with the linear keyframes instead. Now, last thing I wanna do is render this out. So I'll go back to my sequencer, make sure it's at 24 frames. I like my composition, I like the lighting, and I wanna go to, first off, save early, save often, save your project once again before you render. Now I'm going to go to Window, Cinematics, Movie Render Queue. I'll find that sequence, Camera Orbit Move 01, and then I will put it in a folder that it needs to save. We'll talk about render settings in another video. However, what I do wanna do is change the output. I want this to go to my pre-renders folder and I'll put this in camera orbit 01. Lots of pre-renders in there because this is an ongoing project with one of my clients. So we'll just put it in the folder that it belongs and then we'll click accept and then we can hit the render button. Now, because we're not actually rendering any samples with this, this is going to render pretty simply. And with Unreal, rendering is a lot of what you see is what you get. And in a moment, you'll see that it actually looks pretty good for the uh, render preview. You could add a little extra samples if you wanted to. But how cool is this? We're rendering a full CG scene in almost real time and we're getting a lot of beautiful detail of the shot. That depth of field is there and yeah. So I'll let this finish and I'll show you that final clip. A few moments later. All right, so the render is done and I'm with Adobe Premiere now. You could use your editor of choice. I like Premiere. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna import that clip. So I will just hit Control I on my keyboard and I will navigate to my pre-render folder, select the first frame, click on image sequence, open, and I will drag this into my scene and we can play it back. And we got that beautiful looking camera orbit. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope this was useful for quick little camera moves in Unreal Engine. If you learned something, let me know in the comment section down below, or if you have questions, comments, concerns, whatever else, comment section is down there as well. If you would like to join the party and learn more about motion graphics in Unreal, hit that subscribe button. Or what you could do is you could take the closest object to you and look at that like button and just like throw it at it. That would super help the channel if uh, you would abuse that like button. It lets me know that I'm making content that is valuable to you. And I will leave you with one final tip. Eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight and you'll make some. Goodbye, my friends. Bye.